Hello there. My name is Amy Turner and I'm a Regent University student in the engineering department. What we're going to work on now is a Java program called the Ticket Machine program. And this machine imitates the way a real ticket machine works. So this is the BlueJ window and this rectangle here is representing a ticket machine class. So let's open the editor to see what this class is made of. Okay, so this is the code that makes the program. And this class has three fields, the price, balance, and total field, which we'll be um, using to modify this method, the print ticket method of the program. So what we want to do is just create a local variable that's a variable that will only be used within this method. This variable, we want it to um, have the difference or hold the difference between the balance and price fields. So let's call it the amount to pay, amount left to pay. The amount left to pay local variable and now we want to declare it and define it in such a way that it holds in such a way that it holds the difference between the price and the balance. So there we are. Now, what we want to do next is change this test. This is a conditional statement in which um, this the relationship between the balance and the price fields are, are tested. And if the balance field is greater than the price, the ticket is printed. But if it's otherwise, this error message is what's printed instead. So we want to change this test so it reflects on the amount left to pay variable instead. So let's delete this and put this one instead. I want to make it less than or equal to zero. So whenever the price is greater than the balance that's when the, printed, um, the tickets will be printed. Okay, now let's look at the error message that will be printed if amount left to pay is greater than zero. Okay, we want to change this part so that the error message will print out what the customer still needs to pay to get his or her um, tickets. So let's change this to amount left hey all right so that's that and that's actually all we want to do with this method so now we'll go ahead and test first the original one and then we'll test ours so this is the original ticket machine program the one that we didn't modify so we're going to create a, an object. Let's make the ticket to be 50 cents. Okay, so now I'll insert someone into the machine. Let's insert 70 cents. And let's try to print the ticket. Okay, so we get our ticket. Of course we do. All right, so next, let's just try to print the ticket again. If we look, if we inspect this object, we find out that the balance is 20 and the total amount of money the machine has collected is 50. So if it's the balance is 20, we are not supposed to be able to get a ticket. So let's print another ticket. And yes, our error, error message comes up. We must insert at least 30 more cents. Okay. 
now let's try and test our own our own modified version all right let's compile that first all right first we have to create an object let's give this one 70 cents for a ticket instead all right set some money 80 cents let's try to print that ticket and we get our ticket all right now let's try to print again Mm, there we are. We've got our error message. We must at least um, put in 60 more cents. That's because we only have 10 cents in our balance. If we inspect that, we'll find that that's actually how it is. Okay, so we've, act we've actually succeeded in modifying the print method, print ticket method of the ticket machine Java program. So that's all I have for you. Thank you and goodbye.